Chainsaw Man. Oh my God, Jesus. So first off, before we forget to say it, a uh, huge shout out to Jack Labaro Is this for the guy catch that noticed the yeah. thing. Yeah. He noticed the thing that we were doing with the desk, and it it was magnificent. We we were taking bets on like how. <laughs> How long it would take before somebody noticed all the little chapter Easter eggs on the desk? So not that we huge... thought. Oh, I'm sorry, you can you go. Ahead. Go ahead. So huge, huge shout out to that. <laughs> not that we thought people weren't noticing it because I mean, like, look at it. <laughs> it's more like who will point it out first? How how far was must we go? I want you to know, folks. That's F O L K S, folks. Uh, that the plan is to fill it endlessly with shit until something happens in the Chainsaw Man lore or that I can use an, as an excuse to clear it. Like, let's say a nuke goes off or something. I was like, oh, oh desk clear of Easter eggs. It's my own little fun game. Every every week I'm like, oh, what can I add? This week it's a cake because Denji ate a cake like an autistic person. And I say that as an autistic person so you can't cancel <laughs> me. David's, al- David's also, ve- I'm sorry, Vex is also very autistic. Oh yes, very much so. Well, um, but speaking no, like, of autistic and your new name, uh, th- wasn't there like a tweet recently that you fucking retweeted? It wasn't it like, was it autistic people and their three letter? Or no, it was, was it autistic queer people and their three letter names or something? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like I feel entirely called out right now. Bro, I, 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 honestly, <laughs> it's factual. No, like out of all the all the queer people I know that have like changed their name, ninety five percent of them have chosen like a three letter name or something really absurd like Moss or Vixen or some shit oh, like yeah. that. I mean, fuck you either go that. full stripper name or three letter name. I feel like it's like you know if you're gonna do it, you might as well go hard. I mean, because a lot of these people are probably coming off of like some Christian household. I mean, like I imagine you were named David because of the Bible or some shit. You know? Oh, I got David because of the Bible, and then my middle name because of my fucking grandpa, What's who was an abusive again? cunt, Lawrence, <laughs> as in Lawrence of Arabia. I mean, I feel you, man. I understand why you went for Vex because you had the most boring name of been fucking imaginable, <laughs> David uh, Lawrence it- Buchanan. Just like goddamn. You- <laughs> what is this guy gonna do? Like, I'm trying to think of like the most boring activity you could possibly. This guy's gonna ask me to come out and play golf on like a fucking <laughs> Thursday afternoon. <laughs> I unironically got invited to play golf with an old friend yesterday. <laughs> uh, who the fuck likes golf, dude? If you're gonna golf, go mini. All right, listen. Golf is the sport of the bourgeoisie. All right, mini golf is the sport of the proletariat, and you heard it here first. I I, I literally uh, I'm like, are you bringing alcohol? If not, then no. <laughs> Oh, by the way, to translate those commie, commie words for you, uh, golf is for rich fucks and mini golf is for the people, okay? Um, Very good translation there. Thank you. Thank 10 you. out of 10. Thank you. Uh, uh, to the chapter we go! Once again. Uh, as Oh, this, sorry. Would you like to start Vexy? This Vexy is exactly how I expected this to be handled. <laughs> but can we just say, and, and like, I'll... I won't take all the credit. I'll, I'll say we, okay? But what, what did we talk about last chapter? We wanted to see Denji's slut phase. And people in the co- Who the fuck in the comments was like, no, I think he's more mature than that. I think uh, let, who the fuck? Go. go find them. <laughs> I think it was the same. Yep, it's the same person, Jack Labar. Fuck you. Shout outs, but also you're an idiot. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. Stay. <laughs> Um, what did they say? Read it exactly. Uh, by the way, you guys keep talking about dingy fucking bitches. Makes me wonder if you guys forgot that dingy is, he is a single dad now. Oh yes. But uh, it, it's because I, if there's I, one I, thing single dads are known for, it's not fucking bitches. What? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I I feel you. I understand where you're coming from. But this is Fujimoto. All right, look at him. Not only it's actually better than I thought. Okay, because the, the the conversation we had in the last video was, I assumed. That we were going to hop in in the middle of Denji's, like, I'm super popular and I've got, like, 18 bitches on my dick arc. I thought we were going to hop in right in the middle of that because I assumed it would be in some sort of time skip. We're, it's better than that. We're right before it. I don't know if you've picked up on this. We are right before the hypothetical Denji with 16 bitches arc because he is – something has stopped him from – fully coming out with his his uh identity because you can tell he wants to but like there's some sort of be it common sense or kishibe kind of being like don't but like something hasn't stopped him he's like oh i want to really bad but i guess i won't like there's something holding him back but we are it's even better than i thought it, he really is still like i'll be honest with you he's developed less than i thought he was gonna have developed because he's literally like yeah yeah i want my secret identity to come out Cause the bitches and then, and like, we got to skip right to the end here. Fucking um, octopus guy's reaction. He's just like, 
at literally speechless. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, absolutely. Like there, <sighs> so everything in this chapter played out exactly how I thought it would because Fujimoto has this fantastic way of writing human interaction oh, and commentary. So because you see the divisiveness of the whole Chainsaw Man. Oh, like you here. see every single opinion that this felt like reading a Twitter thread. That this beginning right. part, I was like, this is like, like I've seen people say these exact things about Chainsaw Man on Twitter. Like, uh, you know, like, like he re he clearly reads the comments and he, the the tweets and all of that. Uh, but what I, what really got me is there's actual commentary on this type of action too. Here, it's not just on Chainsaw Man in general. This is how you. I hate using this example because it's divided so many cultures, but it's like reading a modern X-Men comic. If it was, if the X-Men was written today, the original run, mm -hmm. which if you don't know, the original X-Men was, you know, basically like a, a play on the civil rights movement. It was written, you know, as, you know, a lot like Eric Selvig or like most blah, pieces blah, of fiction, based. Uh, like Magneto. I just got done watching the original Avengers again, so I'm got Avengers on the brain. Like Magneto is a um, Holocaust survivor. Uh, you got, you know, all the like original civil rights movement all the way down to like comparing mutants to the blacks in the in the um, original run. Like they don't deserve uh, rights. I, I, well, I, <laughs> I know that you're doing it as like a joke, right? Like because they would call them the blacks. But like some people might not. <laughs> that just sounded real bad. I know it did. But you like, have to you have that, to put, you have to put some stank on it when you say that, like the blacks, like like you're fucking uh, making I, fun not, of the racists. I, but like you have ex like covering literal head, depiction, <laughs> the literal depiction of acting senators in there, which was what really got me. And it's very cathartic seeing how far we've come as a society. But we also see like this here would be exactly how an organization. Or a group of people that are running a fucking smear channel on the internet would be interacting with somebody like Chainsaw Man or the Devil Hunters in general, because you're seeing a lot of <clears throat> uh, the commentary now coming back into play, like as we're stripping rights away here in America too, um, because right now I've I'm one of those degenerates that buy like comic apps. Uh, and I've been reading the um, the new X Men run, the House of X, um, that kind of shit, and it's really interesting to see how David over or Vex over here casually responding to trolls in the comments while fucking going on this ramble. Just fucking <laughs> leave, just ignore these fuckers, man. <laughs> no, 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 that one deserved a response. Um, <laughs> yeah, that uh, was what I missed. Signally shit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, continue. We, we yeah, can talk about so that so like, there's one actual through thread for this entire arc right and it's like the corporal punishment of the traitors in there so you can get excommunicated from krakoa the uh, fucking island that they live on now right mm -hmm. for anything or in your punishment could either be exile execution be locked up in a secure prison i could picture that kind of coming into play for like rogue devil hunters here and the future now because we see the how fuck since the gun devil incident and all the the stuff there has kind of affected the view on the association too. What do you think? Um, can you can you ask that one more time? Unlike you, I cannot type and listen at the same time. <laughs> Real quick, so, just ask your last question. So I think there's going to be some sort of like falling out here. I mean, we're actually seeing the beginnings of it here, like a falling out with like the devil hunters and them allowing Chainsaw Man to actually. Exists yeah. because he's technically a devil. So yeah, because we have. Uh, so I'm seeing like, what do you think they're going to do? Something like the the raft, for example, from Spider Man, or excommunicate people that are siding with Denji and refusing to execute him. Or I mean, there's definitely going to be some political drama in some way because I mean, yeah, I hadn't thought about it, but it is kind of weird, right? Because like from like the ci civilians' perspective, it's like most devils are. You know, it's the cockroach devil, the bad devil. They're here. Uh, I'm not sure how often they deal with like fiends, and I know that Denji isn't a fiend. He's a he's a hybrid or whatever the fuck. But and that's even rarer. But like, you know, like how often do fiends come into play? You know, something like what power was, mm -hmm. uh, and how does the government, devil hunters, deal with something like that? Is the 
protocol to just kill them or is the protocol to try to see, can you even save the human that or is it, it's usually a dead body that they're fucking inhabiting i imagine right so maybe you, I, yeah. I suppose it would just be like a zombie right so yeah i mean clearly there's been some sort of special exemption and i imagine it's kind of like a batman situation where like i i'm guessing half of the, half the devil hunters are like actively like yeah we do want to kill him he's a devil and our job is to kill him and i imagine there's a decent chunk of them they're like yeah but he's really popular and he seems to be helping so like mm-hmm. should we but like and then you have the points where they're saying like and we mentioned this last time he clearly doesn't care about collateral damage and like building damage and shit mm-hmm. you know what i mean so like there is some and then you kind of you know think about like the avengers civil war shit like should he be on a, on a tight leash, you yeah. know, like vigilantes as cool as they seem in comics. I mean, like it is dangerous to have something, someone like that, that isn't accountable because theoretically, of course, some, someone like a cop should be, you know, account, be able to be held accountable. Obviously it doesn't happen a lot, but like, you know, the idea is like, if they do some fucked up shit, they can be held accountable. But someone with a secret identity, like Chainsaw Man, if he gets, so, I mean, we literally saw, like you could make the case that, people died because of chainsaw man and he actively chose to save a cat instead of people right so like lawsuits could be filled there's so much shit that could happen to him but because his identity is secret so yeah i'm sure that that will come into play the politics of that um Mm -hmm. did you want to address that fire force comment real quick because i actually so i'm responding to him right now i'm actually Mm -hmm. telling him that we're going to um address his comment at the and i'm going to give him a timestamp so he can come and watch uh so let's see i would say uh around the 11 minute mark here i'll say 12 i i like I said, you're free to stop watching. And oh, I'm I, saying, I have things to say. Don't you worry. Uh, d- d- uh, I'm saying that as a victim of sexual assault. As a oh, kid. Well, we have to give the context to people. So the comment was, we, we were talking about how we really enjoyed um, Fire Force and the author of Fire Force. And I said something about him being like a, ba- a more, one, of, one of the more based authors. Mm-hmm. And what I meant by that specifically was uh, his, in, you know, this is coming from someone who does consider themselves a Christian. Now, it, that's been a struggle for me throughout my life because, like, on the one hand, I believe in, you know, a, a higher power to an extent because I have a heart. Like, to me, a random explosion causing causing everything and a god causing everything are equally insane ideas. So, like, right. it's more comforting to me to believe in, like, a higher power. But all the wacky, shitty, fucked up, like, be horrible to people shit, like, I, I disavow that entirely and I hate that element of it. So what I really do appreciate authors that like speak truth to power about things like the corruption mm-hmm. of religions, the corruption of politics. It's cause you know, every author talks about corruption of politics, but to, to like delve into the corruption of religion, that's, that's uh, brave stuff. Cause some more religious fanatics will really go after you about that. Oh yeah. Well, so I mean, person... I, as somebody that's also yeah. like, mm-hmm. like reading through fire force, uh, on the, on the actual Twitch right now, I, I, um, <clears throat> I love the fact that Okubo throughout his entire run has consistently called out that shitty part of religion. And I, to add a little bit of uh, context to what I said, I was molested by my youth pastor. So I know exactly that side of the fucking church and that corrupt fucked side and that's what led me to leave the fucking church and for actual context for how i left the church there was a strict no theft rule in our church if you stole from the ties or from the donations in general you were essentially excommunicated to because i was drugged there consistently by my parents more specifically my father who was trying to be this like born again christian after my mom had breast cancer and he struggled to find anything to actually cling on to. He tried, you know, like support groups through like places like Gilda's club, which is a, a foundation that was started by Gilda Radner here in Michigan. And where you could like go and talk to other like cancer families, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then they suggested basically that he, you know, try going back to church and my like elementary librarian recommended the church that, um, she went to, and he found, you know, a little bit of peace in, uh, going back to church. If you know my father, like you do red, you know, he's the farthest thing from a fucking Christian. Um, <clears throat> but then flash forward, uh, you know, a couple years and I'm stuck going on a fucking youth group, um, camping trip up to the UP here. And that's where it happened. And so I made it my duty to just, you know, 
essentially steal five dollars just to get kicked out of the church gotta love that right like you can't you can't leave the church by saying hey someone molested me but it's still five bucks get out of here yep um, exactly you got there's no hate like christian love yeah and, all that to say um i can't even pronounce his name it's like hella uh, differently it, it, it is <laughs> that is russia uh, but i will say this is the moment now where you're going to learn that um the people that you think you're defending can have different opinions from you, right? Like, uh, you know, you're, you're hardcore white knighting right now. And you're talking to someone who is, is, you know, I, I'm not one of those like fucking the quartering SJW. I hate it when there's fucking gay people in my fiction and uh, quite the opposite actually. So yeah, you, know, you don't really know who you're talking to here, but what I'll say is there's lines for everyone. Everyone has a different line. And that's kind of what I was touching on in my response to you. But like for me, are there moments where his fan fiction is a very cringy? Yes. But at the same time, I do believe in drawing a line between fiction and reality. I have a girlfriend and we watch shitty fucking cringy early 2000s anime just to like make fun of it. Right. So um, have you heard of a, an anime called uh, Heaven's Lost Property, Vex? Yep. I, <laughs> I watched it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The main character. There are many times where the main character is just like assaulting this girl like, like it's, yeah. it's it's crazy how our standards have changed so i have mentioned it and, and i'm pretty sure i have, we have videos on fire force and the other channel and i have mm-hmm. mentioned that his fan service is real sussy sometimes yep people are th- there's multiple sides to everyone okay i specifically met his political and religious views i thought were, were pretty based and he was brave to talk about them but no one no one person is either full good or full bad. I agree with you that there are some scenes that are like, all right, I went, a, went a bit far. You know what I mean? The one I always mm-hmm. think of is the classic um, uh, it, Tatsumaki is, is the cat girl's name, yeah? Tamaki, yeah. Tamaki. Uh, who, I'm thinking of that bleach bitch, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> no, you're, you're thinking about the green-haired bitch from oh, uh, yes. One Punch Man. All right. I shouldn't uh, – calling them bitches is not helping my case. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm memeing, I promise. Um – uh, what was I saying? But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, the scene where they're trying to have a fight and, like, he keeps fucking tripping into her. It's like, uh, you know, it, it, it got to a point where it was uncomfortable where she's, like, literally crying in the corner because she just got, like, fucking assaulted and then he keeps touching her boobs. Yeah. Are there moments where it's a little intense? Yeah, I agree. But it yep. is still fiction, man. Like, it's not the end yep. of the world, all right? Like, I, I think it I think it would surprise people that I still am a fan of, like, the H.P. Lovecraft mythos. Do I support the author? Absolutely not. And, and I don't know. I guess to me it's like a lot of it comes down to will it incentivize people to do something like that in real life, right? That's my big thing. I think you, you need to write – for me, bigger than – more important than, like, the – oh, is the fan service cringy is – how do you write the women, right? I hate it. Something that would make me immediately disavow an author is when they write women like they're fucking like a cardboard cutout, right? Like they're, whole, they're, they're ex- yeah, yeah. So, so I actually disrespect Naruto's author significantly more than Fire Force because to me, maybe you can disagree with this. To me, at least the women in Fire Force have like a genuine personality, and you have a lot of very strong-willed women in Fire Force, right? Like um, Hibana. Oh yeah, and um. Maki, you know, uh, so mm-hmm. like, uh, is it perfect? No, I don't think he's like a crazy, evil rapist man who's like, I, it's just, I don't know. It just, if your comment feels a little overboard, my guy, like, is it like, I just feel like with fiction, you can look at it and kind of be like, mm-hmm. well, this act, this aspect's really You want to cool. go, you, you want to go I- actually look at a sussy author, the dude that wrote Ruben and Kenshin. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like that's, it, it really, it's super up in the air when it comes to stuff like this because like no one's perfect. I just like where he goes with like the religious stuff and like the lessons with that. And to be honest with you, when you finish it, when you won't finish it, I'm sure, but like towards the end of the manga, he does, uh, he, he attempts to spin to, uh, uh, fuck her name. It's what's it? Sumak. Tamaki. Tamaki. Fuck me. I've been reading too much. Tamaki. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. My bad. He really spins Tamaki's thing as more of like a hashtag free the nip thing towards the end. Like he actually kind of like, and like, is, could that be a retcon? Maybe I'll give you that. But he really, you, becomes... you real, you realize that people like this are never going to bother to read past oh, yeah, the point I know, where but it I'm, makes them. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to finish my thought here. Um, so like he really, he really does. I don't know. Like it just shows that you can look at stuff like this from multiple angles. Right. Cause like towards mm-hmm. the end, he really does address, like he literally breaks the fourth wall and addresses the critics of, of this. And like, she learns to be comfortable with like just being nude and all that. I don't know. Like 
it's I'm not saying it's perfect, but I've seen so much worse. And if you're going to be an anime fan, you just kind of got to like cringe when it's apt to cringe and enjoy when it's apt to enjoy. Yeah. So like so for that's me, what I'll give you. I, Day, Vex is trying to be uh, more harsh about it. I've learned in my older age, my personal older age. I'm not, I don't want to argue. I hate arguing. It's it. it my it's personal nothing, older age. I don't argue as much, but I call out stupidity yeah. where I see it. Yeah, um, so, so yeah. there is, there is plenty of, overt fan service and added in fan service and anime a perfect example of that i know the the third like major arc like the third anime arc anyway of um sword art online doubled and tripled and quadrupled down on the fan service to the point where reki kawahara actually had to fucking apologize to the voice actors for having to pick scenes that weren't even in the so- source material or extended heavily bro i think about that shit constantly whenever i watch uh, a dub of one of these old ass anime i'm like what are the, these women thinking when they're doing some weird ass scenes like this um uh, there was one um where there was just like a full-on rape in it um and that was to and he's addressed well, even like, that's he's... fine if it's done like, like I, I don't believe in not depicting things like rape and fiction i mean the like, fiction's supposed to be able to go anywhere it just depends on to me it really is a lot about how much agency you give the the female characters they cannot yeah. be damsels in distress all the well, time they cannot be think I'm, for I'm, a second this is sword art online and is of course horribly so they have no agency i'm assuming <laughs> <laughs> pretty much yeah so to me because uh, just to finish game. my thought that's so much more por- important then how much titties are on screen? Oh, show t- titty bad. This is like the orange man bad meme. Even though orange man is bad, objectively. But like, uh, this is like the, you know, titty bad. Oh my God. I, this is how I thought when I was, when I when I first became a Christian in like late middle school and I, I was overreacting to everything. I can't masturbate. I can't look at a titty. I can't swear. I'll go to hell. Uh, this is how I used to think about fan fiction. Oh my God, a titty? This, this author is so bad. Ugh. Like, can we grow up? Titties are great. Dicks are great. We uh, The problem isn't that women are sexual too much the problem is that everyone should be sexualized more sexualize men more too why can't we just appreciate how hot we all are uh, we're pretty hot humans let's just fucking dive right well into that i mean <laughs> i mean there there is a line in what is attractive i'll say that right but that's, that's all i'm saying you, you yeah. know what i'm saying though right oh that, i like, i get 100 percent the message well, like, you're getting like, i used to be super prude about it Fan, mm-hmm. I used to be i see this all the time on, on twitter where people are like oh fire force would be such a uh S tier manga if it wasn't for all the fan service. The f- some fan service is fine. I find t- uh, t- Tamaki. Am I saying your mm-hmm. name right? Finally, fine. Okay. I find Tamaki's fucking Lucky Letcher thing hilarious. Like, like not when she's getting touched when then she doesn't want to be touched, but like when she's about to fight and her like pants somehow completely slide off. It's it's stupid fun, right? Like that to me is funny. And but when I was a kid, when I was like in high school, I would have been like, this ruins. The, I was emotionally invested, and now I'm not. Fuck, dude. I watch One Piece. I watch JoJo. You learn to be able to remain emotionally invested when wacky Looney Tune shit is happening. Okay. Yep. Now, like like I said, just to reiterate and finish my thought here, the problem becomes when the women are written like cardboard, like we mentioned with Kishibono, because then you teach a generation of anime fans that women are this different species and all they care about is fucking like men and boys and ponies. And, you know what I mean? Like this is how people start to look at women like different, p- different, like a different species, because in so many shows they're written like they're, they're, they they're exist. fucking alien. Yeah. And they exist to be like. I don't know, our little assistance. It's very straight. That to me is significantly worse. Well, than we also, fanfic. we, we went through an era where like the conservative male only wanted them to be their fucking Your servants. little submissive. Of course. Yeah. No, that was done purposefully in, in a lot of media up until now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and now we're whether purposefully in the or area. just like subconsciously. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we're in an era where women have a lot more agency. They're able to do a lot more things. They're able to do a lot of these extraordinary activities you have woman-led anime now whereas 20 years ago we never saw that kind of shit yeah and sometimes you still get cringe shit like she like have you watched any she hulk yet i have not I, i'm waiting we I watched waiting. that shit ali and i watched the first episode and we the whole time we were joking like oh yeah this is written by a man and then we get to the end and it was written by a woman and we're like what happened dude Oh God! It's pretty I, bad. I hate it. Um, I, like, I hate it. She Hulk is written like one of those shows that's trying to be super feminist and woke in like 2004. You know what I mean? Like it's like oh God, it's super overt and not subtle at all. You know what I mean? Like so, it's like the Captain Marvel effect all over again. And uh, I don't hate Captain Marvel because it's a woman show. I hate it because it's Air Force propaganda. 
yeah, well, it's also just anyway. We're getting we're getting into too much of a tangent. I'll make I'll be sure to leave a comment about like a time skipping of this. But just to fi finalize my thoughts here, I think fan service is fine. I think the most important thing is just making sure that these characters feel like actual humans. That mm -hmm. and like in Fire Force, they do to me. In One Piece, I have a lot of issues with how he every woman has to either be butt ugly as a joke or hot. I have issues with that. So, and every time I'm, I'm compliment one piece, you know what I say? I say one piece is fucking perfect. And I have such a, such respect for Oda. And my one complaint is how he fucking does his art for his women. But his, but the character writing is amazing. They're insanely well-developed characters, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know, they all have issues. And like a lot of it is Japan's culture and the way they look at women. They're, they're a little backwards still in some areas. I, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a Japan expert, but clearly there's some issues there. Um, there very much are. And there will continue to yes. be until that old regime is finally fucking dead. Yes. Um, but either way to finalize, it's just, it, it, it's just not that deep to steal a little, a phrase from Thurman. All right. It, it's like, it's it's manga, all right, my guy. Like, I mean, this is not mind comp we're talking about here. It's it's just it's just a silly little fucking anime, and it's not even close to as bad. It, just to put it out there, Mineta from My Hero Academia is alone is worse than the entirety of the Five Force manga in my opinion. Oh yeah, um, and that's 100. like a mainstream anime. I, I have genuine problems with Mineta. I, I, I've discussed this with Thurman, who, t who thought that I was going too far with, like, oh, Mineta is just like any other perf character. I'm like, no. Mineta comes off as genuinely threatening. I'm scared of Mineta, right? Um, Mineta should be in jail. <laughs> Juvie, I suppose. He really be. should. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. And maybe I'm forgetting scenes. As far as I remember, every time she's, like, touched without her consent, it's not like Shinra maliciously like, <laughs> I'm gonna touch you. It's like the joke is he's tripping into her, right? I don't like it. It's a little cringe, but like, I don't remember anyone like, maliciously Am I stupid? I don't remember that. Do you remember that? I do not. Yeah, so I don't that's really the, That's the, the, the reason why I'm like, this is such a fucking asinine comment. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I know you're not gonna finish it, but like it, the, the manga literally ends with like, like her, her final battle in the series you can la 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 if you don't want to hear this vex but uh her final battle in the series is literally like a bit like it's revealed that like the the universe chose her to have the lucky ledger power to like remind humanity that it's okay to be perverts and like sexual shit right like that's literally the lesson it's like it's okay to be pervs as long as you're not being like you know what i mean like don't be a, a weirdo but like it's okay to you know he, he's going against the like cr super hardcore religious like it's improper right like because like there's a character if i remember correctly who's like you're a slut because you dress like that you're you should be ashamed of yourself there's children around and and the, yep. the, the, the child's I, like I, it's I, just a human body mom you know I, like like I, I don't know it's just i think people overhype it like I, character is yep. so much more important than just seeing titties in my opinion anyway Yep, and her character is one of the most fascinating so far to me. Her and Hibana ha have really carried the series for me. You know, Shinra's great, but, you know, he's not the most well-written character right now. Like, he's an interesting character, but those two have really oh, I been... Love Shinra. I think he's simple, but, like, like mm -hmm. I don't think he needs to be, like, super... He's the dingy yet. of the of the series, really. Yeah. He's the, the perfect kind of simple, but I'm much more attached to those side characters. To me, and Benny Maru... To mm. me, Arthur fucking carries. <laughs> ew, it. ew, fuck. Are Arthur. you serious? I love Arthur. I cannot. I I want to punch Arthur in his fucking face. Oh, we couldn't disagree more, my friend. Um, have you met Mr. Child Abuser yet? I have not. Yet. Oh, he's my real favorite. He's my secret favorite. <laughs> I, I I am on chapter one thirty right now. I finished chapter one thirty on stream today. Very what, what what chapter is that? I'll put a time scan for all this. So basically, I got right to the where um the lead commander of chat um District One handed the fucking uh journal over to Joker and Benny Maru. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Commander Burns. So yeah. they're they're working together right now. Yep. Nice. That's a fun part. Um. Wait. Uh, wait. So is is Joker and Burn Joker and um Benny Maru? Did they work together to like infiltrate the church? Yep. Oh, that's where I I'm ended sure it. you loved that. There was so much anti church shit mm, there. <laughs> I loved it. I fucking loved it. Oh my I'm just God. like, yes. Did you get to the oh. part like the part where they heavily implied that like that church guy like molested him? I did not get to that yet. I, I got, that's, what, that's how well, I Well yeah, it. wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Basically like the, the whipping and all that shit oh, where God, it's you like know really that went down. Oh, or it's all real saucy and he's tied to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um so I don't know. Like I said, I just just to end it off here. 
Hashtag not that deep. Yeah, Grow up. I could, I could you have. Fucking pussy. I. There are plenty of problems. And I'm not one of those like anime is a perfect medium and Japan is a perfect country because that's equally cringe. There's so much shit that's that's wrong with anime. Okay. Oh a yes. Big one is all the weird pedo shit. I wish that they would just. They really should just start making all anime characters over 18 because I'm real sick of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Vosh, um, Vosh made such a good point. That YouTuber I watch, he mm-hmm. brought up the fact that like in anime so often, it's weird. And like Hunter x Hunter is guilty of this. Uh, although Hunter x Hunter is very good at not being like fan service at all. But like th- in anime so often, there the main characters will be like 11, 10, 12. You know what I mean? And, but they'll think, talk, and act like fully grown adults. Because they're written like fully grown adults, right? So that creates the false perception to a lot of anime fans that like, oh yeah, kids are like fully formed. They have, they are, you know, much, they're just young adults. You know what I mean? You you see where I'm going with this, right? This is, there's Mm -hmm. a, there's a a pedo problem in the anime community. It's not, I don't know how widespread it is, but it's big. You know what I mean? It's It's there. It's unfortunate that it's there. And that's a part of it. Like, you know, and that's It's really prevalent in the My Hero fandom. Like, there's full on, like, channels, or there used to be, of like, because it would be pop up on, like, the, the channels recommended. Because we did My Hero um, reviews for a while. So the algorithm's like, hey, you do My Hero shit, so you might like this. And I saw one thumbnail where it was fucking Bakugo pregnant for triplets. Wow. <laughs> well, let's hope that another similarly aged child drew that, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, like, like, there's plenty of problems with anime. And mm-hmm. there, and like I said, I do have problems with some of his fan service. But, like, I don't know, bro. Like, uh, it just came off as really... Uh... <laughs> I'm a, better, I, I'm a better. I'm a better leftist off, than you. Evolve as a human. Yeah. L plus ratio plus touch grass. That's all I, I don't know. Say. I don't think I've ever watched a show where like, oh my god, there was such a sexist scene, I couldn't finish it. Like, bro, then it turns into I'm not watching this for an entertainment anymore. I'm watching this. Or no, no. Then it turns into oh, I might not like the show, but it's this is gonna be hilarious. Like, where's this going? You know what I mean? I'm still gonna watch it. Like, I'm gonna watch She Hulk. It's terrible, but I have to know where it goes. You know what I mean? Like, I well, it's I, supposed to set up like Planet hulk or world war hulk or some shit like that and i'm like i guess i'll watch it i don't think it's terrible i'm over exaggerating a little bit but the writing is, is a little shaky there was but... a fucking 13 second fart joke in it apparently uh i think you're just looking at the meme where she's clapping a bunch and they're adding different sound effects um but um i don't remember no fart joke but either way uh oh unless that was like episode two or something i think it was like episode two or three oh, that they were talking about one. how badly written it was either way um I had one finish, finishing point and I've lost it. What was it? Uh, the fart oh, yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> I'll just say here. I, I think the second you told me, like, I don't know, what did he, he just acted like, I have no respect for him. I could not possibly read. Let me, let me I gotta read mm-hmm. this one. I have no respect for people who write things like this. And it doesn't matter if our opinions are with it. This person deserves no praise. I'm like, really? So, like, the series can be good. The books can be really good. But, like, you can't. Like, you come off as one of those people that's like, oh, this person. Like, like, remember when James Gunn got fucking canceled for, like, shit he did, like, 20 years yeah. ago or whatever? It's like, oh, so now I can't say the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are good? Like, come on, man. Like, you're not talking to the quartering, okay? Like, some people deserve to be canceled. So, but to me, it's like, if you're actively doing shit that is actively harmful and terrible, yeah, cancel the fuck out of them. But he's writing a manga that has some a little bit of cringe fan service. Yeah, Come and on. just like James Gunn was writing films for a schlocky B movie horror, uh, you know, department slash studio. You know, it's That's I've the thing watched with comedy, man. It's it's a yeah. it's a blurry line. What's funny to some people and others. If if it came out that he was like beating his wife, I'm like oh my god, yeah, then I'd I'd be like sure, I guess don't even don't read his shit, fucking a, you know what I mean? Like, right. but like, come on. I, I always look back to like Anthony Jesselneck, one of the the black comedians that I watch, like the black humor, dark humor. Mm-hmm. Like there, there's a line where wait, you wait, go to. He, it, what do you mean? He is a white dude. Okay, okay. The, the, <laughs> the the subdivision of comedy he does is considered black right, comedy. I've heard that it's before, like yeah. it's past dark humor. Oh. Um, so like my favorite bit from him is the thoughts and prayers bit, where everybody just virtue signals online the day of a tragedy. Mm-hmm. Because that makes him look important instead of actually doing anything to help the situation. Oh, yeah. You know, donating to the cause, donating blood, donating resources. Does this person need clothes because their house burnt down or there was a massive fire? 
You're not doing anything by sitting on the fucking internet, typing the same goddamn sentence verbatim. My thoughts and prayers are with the people in this country, or my thoughts and prayers are with the people in the, in this city. <clears throat> yeah, it was, was just a super interesting feeling because normally, normally when we get comments like that, it's from the opposite end of like these fucking mangaka, you know, or everyone where people want to cancel him. You know, normally it's like people from the opposite end that are like, yep. you fucking I am SJW. so. <laughs> I am so used to fucking S- being called an SJW yeah. at this point. This guy out SJW does. <laughs> yeah. That, you know, it's kind of a weird feeling to be like, oh, my God, you're talking about this. Yeah, this guy's How like, dare you? You're not even allowed to ever. Ah, whatever, man. There's so many. Words. It's whatever. I, I'm, I'm caught in a loop because it's just so baffling to me. It, it, ugh. Moving on, Chainsaw Man. Jesus, can you write down the timestamp for me? Uh, I'm at 44 minutes right now oh, right, on right. the Skype call. Check. Um, <clears throat> but uh, right anyway, now, can you send no no? Can you send me thirty five forty, please? Thirty five forty. Okay. Colon forty. Thank you, sir. That was like literally twenty minutes of the video. <laughs> oh, Extended good for, for content you, purpose. Russian name. I'm so proud of you. Are you happy? Mm-hmm. We, we literally, dude. That's on. That, that's my bad. I I fed the troll so fucking hard there. <laughs> yeah, I I'm just over here like, don't watch us, because <laughs> it's not going to stop. I'm gonna. I ain't even gonna lie. Got me kind of salty because, like, I, I fucking love Fire Force. And, like, I, I hate that perception that Fire Force is, like, a, I don't know, like, a, I don't know, what's the word? Like, like an anime that, like, oh, that's a red flag anime. Like, if you watch that, yeah. oh, I guess you're, like, a woman beater or a woman hater or something. I, like Not me watching The Color Out in Space tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. Anyway, God, that's why. Anyway. I, I'm just so admitting I, it. I'm just admitting it. You got, you got under my skin. You did it. Congratulations, random guy. <laughs> Moving on. How am I the least salty one right now? Normally, it's not me, but, uh, you know, hey, uh, to quote it one happens. of my former YouTubers that I used to watch, um, uh, no one likes to be outlefted. <laughs> oh, How dare you outleft me? Anyway, so there, we're talking here about the whole, like, gaggle of commentary here. I, I really want to touch on because people pointed out that video of Fujimoto that's supposedly on the Internet and that bot on page – uh, two, that bottom right hand panel is basically a self insert. They're uh, attributing to that video. <laughs> what too popular ticks me off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like we were talking about how it's it's very Twitter, right? I mean, like you have every single personality type here. Like you have the people that are like, mm, you know, I like Chainsaw Man when he was underground, but now everyone likes him. And then you have the people that are like, Chainsaw Man doesn't exist. You <laughs> you literally <laughs> even have the fucking. He's stealing J- Devil Hunter jobs. So you have the classic like he's stealing our jobs. You have um, darker, darker. you have reasonable people that are like, doesn't he literally like consume people? <laughs> uh, you have let's see here, da, 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 da. what else we have? I totes- oh yeah, give me your number. So of course he's got the bitches that want him. Uh, and you and have Dingy a- over here. By the way, my Bro, number. Dingy's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody. I was talking with uh, party champs on the server. Like nobody is going to believe that Denji's chainsaw man. It's the Peter Parker effect. So good. <laughs> it's the Peter Parker effect because you never see the two in the same area. So you'll have people like J. Jonah Jameson over here being like, "Spider Man's, you know, a menace," you know. But at the same time, you're never seeing them in the same spot. So people will be like, "Hmm, you never see Clark Kent and Superman, or you never see Peter Parker and Spider Man." So maybe they're the same person. Well, he's but... also like, he's just such a slobby, homeless-looking dude. <laughs> you know what he's I mean? such a fucking um, idiot. We have we. I have so much to say about Denji. Um, specifically, first of all, we we you gotta love the. Uh, if I was to guess Chainsaw Man's number, it'd be three, four. <laughs> he try, he's trying real hard. Your... Fa- also this television. panel where he's fucking like like all right they're cheering chainsaw man and he's just standing there like it's literally i don't know if you saw people doing the like they don't know i'm chainsaw man me uh-huh yeah i saw it <laughs> i so retweeted funny. a bunch of the shit from this chapter like and then, and then denji having literally the same memory as me octopus guy walking up but he's like yeah don't you remember when you had all those assassins he's like never happened no it did and <laughs> 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 uh, he's like fucking uh, and this this interested me too, right? So he's broke, which mm-hmm. uh, is he lying or is he like to get free food or is he literally broke? Because if he is, he's already a terrible father. <laughs> is he still raising this child? I don't. Understand. Wait, 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 wait! Before we cancel him as a father, maybe he's broke oh, because him. of the father. 
because he's putting all of the money towards the kid. No. <laughs> if you can't feed yourself, there's no way you'll go kid eating that well, all right? <laughs> oh my god. This kid is already he's he's literally like Oh my god, he's gonna be terrible. He's gonna go. He's gonna go home, and the kid's gonna be like, like sleeping on top of a pile of garbage. <laughs> There's gonna be cockroaches. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, kid, what's up? Oh, you haven't been home in a month. Yeah, I know. I've been fucking bitches. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, how's the rubber box holding up? You, you got enough food in your in your bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me put you back in that cage now. <laughs> I got a new padlock after you nod through the other one. Oh god, I, dude! Can you imagine if Fujimoto just makes him like the worst father? <laughs> I don't think he I could see that. I it's, can it's see that. It's weird. Like he's actually so much worse than I thought he was. So like you have this. He's broke apparently, mm -hmm. and then he's like, okay, I'll have an ice cream and an orange juice and a cake and an iced coffee and a spaghetti and like creme brulee or whatever the fuck. And then we have this conversation. So. Octopus guy, we were wondering about his his uh, motives. He's employed by some sort of organization that's just keeping an eye on him, which is smart. I mean, it's like, hey, we actually want the best for you. We're, we're the good guys here. We're not trying to hunt you. We just want you to be able to live a normal life because we know that the second people know who Chainsaw Man is, it's going to cause so much fucking chaos. And, gonna be deal and plus, you know, there's mm -hmm. like, there's ulterior motives here. This, oh, this organization wants to be able to use him as a weapon if shit ever goes down. So like, you know, we want to make sure yep. you don't fall in the hand. We remember when a Soviet spy came and tried to fucking seduce you literally over to fucking Russia. Okay. <laughs> To be fair, you know, I'm, I'm talking to this engineer. To be fair, she was hot. That Russia see though? The Russia see? <laughs> I'd smash the Russia see. Uh, the commu communisty. <laughs> she's hot and she's a communist? Sign me up. It's Red's perfect type right there. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm memeing, by the way. I'm, I'm not. I don't, I don't know nearly. And I'm not nearly educated enough to uh, advocate for communism. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's plenty. You know what? I don't want to be canceled. All right, there's plenty of stuff that uh, my politics are whatever Bernie Sanders says. <laughs> he seems like a reasonable guy. I just want for hey, yeah. My politics are literally. Have you seen that meme where it's like, I literally just wanted free healthcare. <laughs> Honestly, that's me. Free healthcare, free college. Make us as well off as any other developed mm, first world nation. That's, that's all I want. And communism just gets us closer. <laughs> when the Comrade, choice is become, how are you doing today? When the how choice is the beat line. <laughs> there's a joke in. Uh, you remember Dreg? Did I ever show you? I show, I've shown you Dreg videos. You've shown me a few. Yeah. He, he has a skit where he's just like, and when the world gets this crazy, it, your country either falls into fascism, or, no, or communism, or fascism, which is way worse. <laughs> that's the, that's the two options. They're both not great, but like if you have to choose one. <laughs> Uh, uh, just to derail this video even further, have you seen tr Trump's Truth Social posts? Oh my God, we're, 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 he's gone. I think he knows he's actually about to get like maybe arrested, like because he's actually done so much now that like I would be sh actually kind of shocked if he didn't get something like something. Happened. Red, this is America. No, no, he's no, no, no. white. Rex, at, up until this FBI shit, I would have agreed with you. I never thought, but like he actually now has literally like he stole the it came out today that the documents he stole were so high level that even the FBI had to get special clearance to even look at them. <laughs> I know, I saw that. I'm like holy fucking shit. And this man is insane. It's highly probable that he was going to try to sell them to like the Saudis. All right, like so I mean like cuz he was having Saudis over to like play golf and shit. Like, it, my mm -hmm. my brother in Christ. He genuine I don't know what's going to happen. I'm pretty confident that he actually I don't know if he'll get jail time, but I, he's for sure going to get indicted at the very least he might get like a huge fine. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's you can tell he's actually kind of panicked. That's why he's going like hardcore Alex Jones like reinstate me as the president now and he's threatening riots in the street. It's going to be yeah. crazy <laughs> over here in America. Um I applied for my passport today. <laughs> nice. Good luck. I have a feeling that they're gonna, it's going to be hard to get out of here cuz everyone's probably wanting to <sighs> um okay so anyway um i really yeah i just i appreciate that the dialogue is great he's like are you stalking me and he's like well when you put it that way you're not exactly wrong great dialogue um let's see here it's a pretty, pretty short chapter and somehow we decided to talk about something else for 20 minutes let's see here um uh, uh, did you see the memeing the memeing the the, the that's meme mm -hmm. so people are talking about like how fujimoto's 
putting a meme template in every fucking chapter at this point. Oh, yeah. Also, the fact that uh, Denji's openly eating a cake with his hands here. Yes, I wanted to, th this is what I wanted to talk about, genuinely. So you say what you gotta say, but I actually genuinely have a lot to say about that. Because once my secret's out, the ladies will be all over me. Oh, dude. <coughs> Remember how I was talking to you? I, maybe I forgot how autistic Denji was or something. He's... He's bad. Like, he's, like, really, really mind-broken. And, mm -hmm. like, I guess it makes sense, right? I mean, like, think about what he went through with the Makima shit. And here I was oh. foolishly assuming for two years that when we cut back to Denji, he was going to have, like, his shit so much more together. Because, you know, he's going to school. He, he, I mean, like, think about it. He he really is so mentally broken. He He's probably mm -hmm. developmentally, developmentally stunted at, like, a six-year-old level, right? Because mm -hmm. he never went to school. He grew up so poor he could barely even eat. I mean, it's essentially, like, that fucking monkey kid from wild thornberries you know what i mean yeah you, um, fucking i can't remember his name uh, but donnie, i know what you're talking yeah donnie donnie so thornberry the fact that he's doing this i mean it's like this is like also think about the last quick. time he saw a cake sure but like oh it doesn't really matter how hungry he is that the fact that he's like unable to just eat with a fork and he eats because it didn't seem to me it didn't seem like oh i'm so fucking hungry to me like he's offered the silverware and he just it's like oh, fuck it Oh, I just got it. I, I'm stupid. Oh, you know the what? The last time he ate a, or had a cake no, 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 is no, no, no. when I just, Power died. Oh, I didn't even think about that. No, I just got... I thought he was eating like that because he was, like, mega autistic, but I actually just noticed that he said, I'm not letting you eat. Uh, so he didn't give him the silverware, and that's why he's eating. I, I'm, I just got that. I missed that. Live mid video, Rand sees that, but also like he he's traumatized. He, he, yeah, he was willing to do that so quickly. I, he's he's weird. He it, it doesn't change my point that he is mega autistic. Um, uh, but just as much as me apparently. Uh, but like you know what I mean. Like I mean this is I, so you know sometimes when I'm getting real into food, I eat like this. Like you can ask my my former roommate Justin. I fucked up some KFC mashed potatoes like this once. <laughs> um, oh God. But the fact, that, oh yeah, he's traumatized about it still because we were in public. But like genuinely, like he is weird, and he's weirder than I remembered. Um, and like it's I, cool I to see that. Real quick, may I finish to... my thought, please? Yep. Uh, it, it's cool to see that because like, I, I guess it just shows to me that he wants to be popular with ladies. He wants to do all this, but like, any relationship he has is going to be completely predicated on the fact that he's chainsaw man and he's not he it's going to be such a shallow love and we already know that you know what i mean if he has any relationship it's going to be because he's famous because he's popular but no woman would ever date uh, this you know what i mean like this no. is, he needs to fix himself he is so all this to say ending off he's still a very broken person and that fascinates me i thought he was going to be like much better he is not we are still at the very beginning of his development and he's still wanting to let himself be known so he can get the bitches we're like right after base essentially i don't know how much time's passed but in terms of denji's character we're like right after that like he just like me for said real. three years what i think they said in the first chapter it was three years they did not say what are you talking about the first chapter back i believe it was said three years since the fucking uh makima incident i'll double check i don't i'm pretty sure you're making that up but anyway, um, I, I believe here he's still attributing uh, somebody with a lot of trauma. He's still attributing that particular cake to his incident with power. But he wants to actually be able to taste the cake he was never able to taste. Because remember, the last time he saw a cake like that is when power got fucking banged by uh, Makima. Hot. <laughs> But uh, anyway, like we're also having that that moment of like at this very last panel, which will more than likely be the thumbnail, I'm guessing. So um, it, it never said that. I don't know where you where you saw that. It, 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 they never even talked to. They haven't mentioned Makima once. There one. It was what ninety seven was our chapter back. Ninety eight. Ninety eight. It's not that I, I literally. That's like not a thing. That you, you, you just made. That I'm on chapter one on one here. <laughs> uh, I could have swore I saw it. I mean, find it. Uh, I'm literally 99% sure that it's not a thing. Like, it, no time amount has been mentioned. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 
Dead in 100 Days. It's 100% focused on... It's been literally 100% focused on them. They haven't mentioned Denji. They haven't mentioned, like, literally anything. Even when we see, like, Octopus Guy, he doesn't talk about, like, how long it's been since... Yeah. Well, fuck me. I'm wrong. Yeah, um, there's no time. We have no idea. It could be like a month for all we know. Yeah, it could be. Uh, anyway, I'll admit I'm wrong. Um, oh, yeah, no problem. I just, uh, yeah, not trying to get, get like, a, a win on you. I just, like, was like, that's not yeah, a thing. That's fine. <clears throat> um, but, like, I, I think you just see the fucking outpouring of emotions here on this final page of, like, how broken he really is still from that incident. Like, the last time he had this much food, probably since he's broke, was when he ate Makima. <laughs> well, in general, remember that, like, one of the things, in, in, the in the way that he shows emotions is not not normal. normal. Remember that one of the things in part one was that he has a hard time feeling sadness mm -hmm. now because of the way that his heart is taken over by, um, right. you know, Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Devil. So, like, honestly, like, even if he is sad, he probably has a. It's probably hard for him to cry. Period. Just like it was for Makima, right? We had a whole that whole chapter about that. So if you know, I think that genuinely, this just shows he is. He's weird. It, it really is like. Oh, it's like your mom like asks you to fucking take your like weird like neurodivergent cousin out to dinner, and he's like, <laughs> you know, he's an uh, Denji's an iPad kid. Like that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess all, it's just interesting to me because like, he wants to have all these things. He wants to live life like all like lavish and luxury, but he's, he, it's going to be really hard to kick his poor person habits that he's built up throughout his entire life. You know what I mean? Yep. Because this is a dude that the hundred and 102 chapters ago was selling his organs to pay off his fucking father's debt. Yeah. This is, you know... Eating one slice of bread a day. Mm-hmm. Eating a slice of bread a day, usually moldy. You know, you're having, you know, yeah. him scrounge for scraps and going through all these, you know, trials and tribulations of wanting to eat something with all the condiments on it. You, you wanted, you know, to be able to fuck a, a hundred bitches, you know. He we wanted... haven't even gotten one yet. The implication is that he hasn't even fucked any bitches off screen. Right, and, which is but, exciting because I really do want to see his, his first fuck. I want to see that so bad. <laughs> I don't need the details, but I just want to see how because you know remember when we saw his first kiss and his first this that and everything. Right, and, and if it goes like part one, his first kiss was what he got vomited into. Right, so what's his first fuck gonna be like? Like what's uh, gonna happen? She's going down on him. He has him washed for like six days, and she, she just pukes, pukes on, on his stick. dick. Yes, please. With how much Fujimoto loves puke, please. Yep. <laughs> Or he's or he's eating ass, and he's like, oh, you have it clean down there. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I would love for Denji to, like, go, go through the, the incel tribulations where, like, he assumes that all women, like, like, women don't stink or fart. You know, like, the classic, like, women aren't smelly or stinky at all, right? So he goes to, like, eat ass, and he's like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> and he's just, just, like, a bitch about it. I, I have a lot of a lot of weird fetishes, and I've never in my life understood eating ass. Yeah, tragically, because it, it, it's so it's so enticing from from afar. But the second you get into the hole, it's like. Mm. Speaking of that, here's a fart. Oh, anyway, you hear that? Luckily, I didn't get that picking up on my oh, end. It so will, it'll great. pick up on my end. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I apologize to our listeners for our weird conversation here and Dude, the fart. Today's been a particularly. I'm gonna warn everybody up front how fucking off topic and weird this one is. <laughs> <laughs> right but like i i, I hope you know. have that plus 30 seconds button on standby <laughs> i want to know what yoshida's thinking here because you you see the look dude, on dude, his face that ending is so funny and you how see I, him in like this the thinker mode and dingy here with a fistful of cake oh he's so gross and not the kind of cake he wanted <laughs> he's so gross i, I and like so is how is our how is how are our main characters going to come together now? That's the question. Is Denji going to go out? Is Denji going to try to get a little get a little cake from um, Asa? Some Yorosi? Yeah. Oh, dude. Please. War like, devil fucking the chainsaw devil. Think about it. Think about it. Because, like, I love the idea that, like, um, so Asa is the name of the, the main girl, right? Mm -hmm. His names are so, like, I don't know. With the exception of, like, Denji, his names are so fucking generic for, i don't know it's so hard for me to remember i love his I, remember. I i will point you in the direction of fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> okay, Taya so I, and I tristan the... and joey oh and yeah, yeah. i love the idea of asa like i like, they see him, they find out that it's denji and then yoru's like you know war devil's like all right 
We will use your feminine wiles. Because <laughs> clearly, he is clearly a simp. So we will use your feminine wiles to get him. And she's like, absolutely not. And he's like, you don't have a choice, bitch. And then he, uh, you know, he becomes her and he does the whole, like, Kratos fucking, like, oh, boy, would you like to fuck a, suck a fuck a me? I don't know. Suck a fuck a $5? <laughs> would you like a $5 sucky fucky? He's like, wow, only $5? I mean, unfortunately, I only have two dollars and seven cents to my name but i mean could you give me like a half off discount and he's like sure why not <laughs> that one hurt red <laughs> hey man i'm just talking about denji i ain't talking about you <laughs> it's about how much i am in my bank account and yet right now. <laughs> they still continue to fucking buy shit Facts. <laughs> you see how i i properly gendered you so that that's all you are you're welcome <laughs> i just had to pay my fucking electric bill shut up oh yeah I'm going to party today. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what else? But yeah, I mean, but like, I love the idea. I don't know where he's going to go with this, but I love the idea. I, I would love some like fake, fake romance shit there. And then I would also love for it to like blossom maybe into like a real thing somehow. Although I'll be honest with you. I don't see Asa. I just don't see it. Like, I don't see them getting along in any capacity, like in, in any romantic capacity. I just because like I guess they could both no see because like they wouldn't even be able to the whole goal them. the whole goal is to kill Denji at this point like, right the... but I I have a feeling somehow at least well you know what I shouldn't assume this because Den you know it, Chainsaw Man is not written in a stereotypical way because in in a stereotypical manga I would assume that the direction would be oh I was good I was tasked with killing him but then I met him and he's super cool and I now I don't but now honestly. I don't think that is the direction it's going to go because I really don't – looking at Asa's personality and looking at Denji's personality, I do not think that they would get along at all. I do not see like, – I'm getting oil and water vibes. I'll be, so maybe maybe she'll be like, you know what? Fuck yeah. I'll kill this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I can see that. The thing is like as we go forward here, we're on a biweekly schedule at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, rumor has it because he's the lead, or working with the production of the anime. Then there's like the the fact that he just wants to go back to like his old schedule. There's a lot of rumors circulating around about it. To me, it seems like he's doing kind of a. Have you been? Have you read any of that Chojin X series? I have not. So so th- they clearly just let him put stuff out whenever he wants to. And mm-hmm. because of that, he's able to. You know, some weeks he puts out seven pages. Some weeks he puts out. 50 pages you know what i mean so to me it seems like they basically have just given him ultimate freedom like it's basically just like a step down from like because chojin x can come out whenever sometimes it's like three months between chapters sometimes it's week to week it's just like whenever the fuck he wants to Mm -hmm. um that's the guy who wrote tokyo ghoul by the way um that's why it doesn't interest me (laughs) yeah yeah it's 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 whatever i'll be honest i read like four chapters um but uh with chainsaw man i get the vibe that the deal is all right bi-weekly and you can do whatever the fuck you want so like I think that the reason he wants to do bi-weekly is because I get the vibe that Fujimoto, when he does battle chapters, he wants them to be long. And when he does his slice of life, he wants them to be more normal sized, right? Mm-hmm. Because his battle, he he's the type of author that likes to, you know, he's the opposite of Oda, basically. He likes to have big bombastic panels with his action. And I like that about it because honestly, that's what action should look like. It should be pretty yep. and fun to look at. And you shouldn't have to fucking squint, Oda. Um, so I... I think that that's kind of, I think that's going to be the format going forward. An action chapter you're going to get your 50 pages, a normal chapter you're going to get your like more towards 20 is my guess. Oh yeah, it's it's very much seeming like that and I love it because Fujimoto's writing style for action is everything that a shonen fan wants, right? Yeah. You you have essentially those those wonderful bombastic panels. You have this dope ass fucking full page spread art where you, you have, you know, the cockroach devil beheading a motherfucker or the, the fucking fetus child that was the typhoon ch- devil, you know, fighting beam and the bomb devil in the background for that shit. You know, you, you have all these wonderful fucking fights that will translate so well to anime. If the studio does it justice, it's MAPPA. I have full faith in it. I believe in them. I think – because it's not even just because it's MAPPA. Like we discussed before, they're going to put every single ounce of their budget. Have you seen – they already – they put out the fucking staff. The staff is un- ungodly good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, also the fact that the fucking – the <laughs> studio head is a simp for Fujimoto. Yeah, yeah they're going to – this is going to be like I – mean, this might be like record-breaking good. Like this is going to be insane. Like I have a feeling it's going to be incredible. Yeah, but – 
with those, we have that. But when he does character stuff, it's so emotional. He doesn't need 50, 60 pages to yeah. fucking put that out there. He can do that in 24 pages, you know, and that's what I love about his writing style. They need to, people need to learn from his style. Like, like mm-hmm. no other mangaka that I can think of would, would take five, six pages on just people's reaction, you know, like, like people just going through and talking about, like, I love Chainsaw Man. I, you know, like, it's just, he, he takes the time to really suck you into the scene. You get into mm-hmm. the scene, whereas, like, so many other manga, it feels like they're trying to rush, rush, rush. It feels more like a clip show, especially, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Oda, but even other ones, like Horikoshi recently, it feels like you're hopping from location to location. So much has got to happen at once, but Fujimoto... Well, I think you and Thurman will, and the rest of the mod team will have a field day dealing with the yeah. fucking fallout from my hero. Fujimoto has the confidence as a writer to mm-hmm. really sit down and be like, oh, yeah, are we going to spend an entire fucking chapter, uh, like, just on the outside on the street... And then walking into a restaurant, and that's the whole fucking chapter? Yep. Like, I love that about him. So or, you know, sitting in a movie theater watching four or five different movies back to back to back to back. Yeah. It, it, so, like, like, you know, Fujimoto dick riding aside, great chapter, not a lot to talk about, and yet it's our longest review. <laughs> it's it is. An hour, by the way. Yep, we just hit our Jesus hour. fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, this one's going to be titled, like, the title of this is going to be We Get Off Topic. <laughs> We get off topic and time stamps to skip. <laughs> Literally, I might even. I, hold on. I'm going to put the time stamps to skip in the thumbnail. I'm going to be like, just skip, beep to bop. <laughs> beep to bop. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm so excited for that guy. That guy. Uh, he, he's really, you know. He, guy, he guy really, guy. like, uh, you know, well, two guys. The guy that called the fucking um, the stuff out, you know, right. our little Easter egg. We talked about him and, for a normal amount of time. And, then we talk about the other and guy then the, the other guy got, like, his own video in the video. Yeah, I'm so happy for him. <laughs> oh and I'm just God. over here like, fuck you, leave. <laughs> and you're over here like, and here is why you're wrong. <laughs> and that's and usually my mathematically. <laughs> Uh, where is I, it? I love the role reversal arc here, Red. <laughs> I know. Next, uh, let me think. Well, what other role? Ver- whatever. What other roles can we reverse? Uh, Red gets pegged. <laughs> I could get super fucking wasted, and you could. Uh... You know, you cannot even in confidence make that joke. <laughs> no, you know you have. You, do you not know that I kind of drink now a little bit? Like uh, you like, told me about yeah. that. You you drink like wine coolers. You know, Mike's no, hard lemonade. Uh, well, I'm mostly. I think the mo- I think I can tell you the three things I've drank: a twisted tea, a Mike's hard lemonade, and a TGI Fridays pina colada something or other. I don't fuck. I was going to say if you say white claw, I'm going to backhand you in the no, next. No, I've heard that they taste terrible. I, it's got to taste good for me to even begin to down it. There is a Mike's Hard that comes out around Memorial Day that is, like, my favorite thing that they've ever made. A Mike's Hard that goes hard? It does. Because I, I used to, like, that was my that was my basic bitch college drink was Mike's Hard Lemonade because it was, like, $1.99 at the gas station. Uh, and then, you know, college kid broke. But 31 years old, still broke. <laughs> America. <laughs> so... I guess predictions is the question here. Right? Prediction. Where, where prediction. do we? Where, where does Oct- Octopus Guy and like I know his name at this point, but now I'm I'm more scared to mispronounce it because like I, uh, after the Kobani uh, trauma from part our part one reviews, because I used to call I called her Konembi for like months. Konembi. You you went M M B I in it yeah, somehow. <laughs> Octopus Guy. What's he gonna do? How how does he react to this? You know uh, because like I feel like. I almost think that he's kind of a bro, and he he could theoretically be like, Denji, I can get you some bitches. I wouldn't even need to release your secret identity for that. Like, I am the bitch magnet. (laughs) I am the pussy magnet. Um, I feel like if there's any character that could, right? Like, I mean, that was literally... Did we call this... Like, you can go back to our part one reviews... This character, we our joke with him is that he's too busy getting pussy to save the world. Like, that's just... He actually might be the perfect guy to get Denji laid. Yeah, uh, he he's gonna be the wingman probably, Bro. and then he's gonna die horribly. If that's uh, the arc, no, honestly, I really, I kind of want. I'm I'm hoping that he's he's invincible now. I I just I get vibes that he's gonna be the one character that Fujimoto doesn't touch. I don't know why. I just get the vibes because he's Fujimoto self insert. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Bro. you know, I I need to see what kind of chick Yoshida likes. Okay, yeah, if it's dying, because if it's a dom chick, that theory's confirmed. 
Yeah. You know, if he gets down, I, I feel like he's got to be a switch though. I don't see him being only a sub. I feel like he, I feel like he's one of those guys that's like, I can give it. I can take it. I'm just a sex master. He can summon octopus tentacles, <laughs> boys. He is the perfect hentai protagonist, and oh. he's even got the haircut for it. <laughs> I'm just saying, listen. Okay. As trivial and played out as it is, because with hentai and such, let's say you're a woman, okay, and you have a pussy, and you know a guy who can summon real live squirming octopus tentacles at some point, you're going to be like, I, I, I got to know. Like, I would be. I'm sorry. <laughs> you feel me, yeah. right? Yeah, that would be... <laughs> You know, like, say you're really good friends with this guy. Like, like you're not like boyfriend, girlfriend, but like, you're like super good friends. You've done some fuck buddy shit here or there. Not all the time, but like, it's that kind of like really open friendship. You're really good friends. You've known each other since like Mm -hmm. middle school. You've, you know, now you're, let's say, you know, to to avoid problems, you're both like 25 or something. And, and at some point you're like, all right, you got that contract with the octopus devil, right? You want to have one more for all time? Say, (laughs) come on. Like, I, I, I need it. I, I would need to know. Right, you know, and you know, if I had a vagina, I soon would... one day, Vex. That pipeline is pretty, pretty long and pretty deep. <laughs> it's, no, I, but yeah, you're so but like, in debt. You don't have vagina money. Um, uh, so my GoFundMe link is, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that would be such a flex, getting enough money <laughs> through GoFundMe to get a pussy. There, there are plenty of trans people that have actually got their surgery funded through that GoFundMe. Um. That's how I pay for part of my surgery, actually. <laughs> I can go fund me. <laughs> uh, I, if I had a vagina, I would I would want to try the tentacled. You know? I'm just saying. I want to get a, one of them weird, wacky, bad dragons. <coughs> for I, 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 hey, um, so our OnlyFans link is uh, OnlyFans.com <laughs> slash Control Chaos. Vex, you are not hot enough yet. <laughs> In my opinion, I'm sorry. Maybe that's just me. You're, you're not. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to film Red taking the bad dragon tentacle. No, it's not for me. <laughs> I just want to. You know what? People are gonna be so mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't. This is what this channel is. Well, I would, which this is when chapters have almost nothing to talk about. We spend half the video talking about stupid shit. I hope that's what you, you signed up for this. I assume. <laughs> you signed up for this, you masochist. You fucking idiot. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I would uh, not have thoughts. this channel any other way. I know, right? Final thoughts? Anyone? Anyone out there? Um, no, I, I want to see where this goes. That's about it. Like, And we'll find out in two weeks. Uh, next week, it will be looked back, read, I, read it. Uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I genuinely... <laughs> I just really want to see. I would find it very funny if 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 they go down. And how old is Denji at this point? I think he is like seventeen, right? He was seventeen, I believe. Because when when, when it started, I think he was sixteen, and that because I'm pretty sure I checked this on the wiki, and so like I'm just making sure that their ages would match. If if like they do the whole like also you have to fuck him. Um. Once again, we run into the unfortunate anime. I, I got the wiki are... popping up. Oh, there goes your quality. I hope. <laughs> I got I got the wiki popping up. Give me a second. Yeah, I can tell that you're loading another page because your audio quality dipped. Dingy is. Yeah, my internet just went out. So yeah, he's seventeen. Okay. So and then how old is? We don't know how old Asa is, but we can. Dingy is assume. seventeen. So Asa is somewhere in high school. Let's hope and... and assume. Can you not hear me? God damn it! This mm-hmm. fucking internet. Can you hear? Hello, testing. All right, this may be the time. I, I can hear you right now. All right, your internet's, your internet's, I can tell when your internet dips because and then... you start to sound like a robot. <clears throat> I'm looking up Asa real quick. Well, I don't think there, there's not a confirmed age for her. I checked. Um, she, all we know is that she's in high school. Oh. So 15 to 18. Okay, cool. Which is, oh my God, there's a big ass spider outside my window. Thank God it's not in here. Um. So. Oh, rad. Spiders are friends. Mm, I guess they shouldn't have been so fuck. Look so fucking creepy then. Oh God, is it two spiders fucking? Yo, there's two spiders and they're like touching each other and shit. Unless he's like, no. Oh two my God, these spiders are sex. fucking. 
to spiders having sex. This is kind of. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. No, no, no. We're not peacing on that. We're still talking about Asa and Denji maybe fucking. <laughs> Just like these spiders. Um, I was trying to save it in case my internet shut out again, but okay. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. So. I just that's my prediction. I want to I want to see how these characters meet. I wouldn't mind like you said following Denji for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I would love because like so like I, it would be the perfect way for Yoshida to suss out if Asa was a threat too. Yo, okay, yeah, wait, wait. Okay. So so Yoshida's like, "All right, it's very important to me and my secret organization that I work for that you do not reveal your secret identity." So I'm going to get you laid, buddy. And he's like, yeah. He's like, all right, you got to be chill, though. You got to be cool. Can you be cool? Like, you remember the fucking scene with um Mercury and... Uh, I'm cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fun, yeah. <laughs> you going to be cool? He's like, dude. Dude. <laughs> so, this is going to be... We're going to have... Dude, please. I would read... I would read 10 chapters of that. If they just divert... Completely, like, it's... What's his name? Yoshida? Mm-hmm. It's just Yoshida takes fucking Denji to a frat party. I would piss myself laughing at that. <laughs> It's like, all right, I'm going to take you, we're going to get you laid, and then you have to promise me that you're not going to reveal your secret identity, and I can get, I'll get you laid anytime you want, buddy. Once a week, at least. All right? Not all of you, you know, something like that. You the, I would love that. It'd be so funny. So that's a funny hypothetical. I don't know how crazy, because, like, it sounds stupid, but everything's up in the air with Fujimoto. The stupidest prediction you could possibly have could happen. Right. Um, so there, that's one possibility. Another possibility is, takes him to the frat party. Yoru somehow gets a sniff that like, oh dude, Chainsaw Man's gonna be at that frat party, and then so so Asa's there at the frat party, and then Asa's the girl that you, you're like, oh hey Asa, hey, have you met my buddy Denji? <laughs> and then they kind of get. I would just love that so much, please, because right, right now, right now Yoshida is the connector link between these two characters. If you think about exactly. it, exactly. Oh please, dude. Oh, it'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> Just like Asa being very like, I don't know if I want to do this, and yours like, <laughs> too Bitch, bad. You're doing this. Strip now. You must seduce him. <laughs> no, Strip I wouldn't now. want anything to happen if she's not in. I would not. I'd want it to stop before anything happens. To, to, to you know, I wouldn't want it to be weird or creepy. But I love the idea of like, <laughs> you must seduce him now. <laughs> it's like, uh. <laughs> That'd be right. It would be me. perfect. It would be perfect. I uh, I'm trying to think of like anything else here. That would possibly happen here. At and this point, I'm, all I can predict is just, like, sexual romantic comedy hijinks between Denji and Asa. Honestly, that's about it. I'm sure it'll be way more. Um, yeah. It'll fall more into Fujimoto's writing style. Obviously, we're not authors. And he actually by any sort of... is a based author. He's not going to do none of that Fire Force shit that you don't like, random guy. Dude, this is a guy that wrote Fire Punch, okay? There's a character that exists to make people fuck dogs. That's true. <laughs> you can't even defend that one. <laughs> uh, well, you're right. No, but I mean, it's all about writing a bad guy doing bad things doesn't make you a bad guy. It's about how the bad guy is portrayed. And if it's like stated clearly enough that that's a bad thing and it's not like saying, no, this is a good thing. You know. Oh, I know. I, I was just making fun of like how contradictory yeah. that is. It's, uh, you could teach a whole class on morality and writing and fiction. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, this one lasted way too long. God damn. Um... <laughs> Goodbye. Don't fuck dogs. (laughs) Peace. Peace.